Hey there everyone, this is Danielle taking a first look at Pokemon Swoosh. Or Swoosh as the case may be. Uh, as you can see I got Shield rather than Sword. Uh, the reason for that is that Shield is the one where you can get Princess Celestia. And obviously I want to get Princess Celestia. So, Shield it is. Uh, anyway, let's start the game. I haven't tried it at all yet, I don't know... A whole lot about this game. I have heard there is a bug in some versions that can mess up your SD card. Apparently it won't happen if you have the game card rather than downloading it, which I do, so I should be okay. Just in case I'm going to turn off auto-saving anyway, because apparently that's what causes the problem. Anyway, uh, that's about all I know about the game so far, apart from the fact that Princess Celestia is in it, so let's get going. Uh, I know some people want me to do a full playthrough video of this rather than just a first thoughts video, so I might, I might, we'll see how we go. Um, but first, first thoughts. Okay, so I get to pick languages. Um, the only one I speak is English, but it, I like that they're giving us options, that's good. Uh, Nihongo, yeah, uh, a couple of different ones I can't read. <laughs> Choose your photo from the lineup. Okay, so... Hmm. They, they did this in Let's Go as well. I assume the reason for this is that they can't really ask you, you know, what's your race? Like, oh my god, you can't just ask people why they're white. Um, I guess I'll go with this one? I don't know how many options you get for customization. Uh, put my name in. You get 12 letters to work with, which is good. I only need 8, of course, because that's how long my name is, but yeah. Uh, I can't change languages after starting my game, but I can change everything else, I assume? I hope so. <laughs> uh, okay, the loading screen at the bottom there is not in English. That's a little weird. Um, we'll see. Um, what am I looking at? Is that like, Pokemon language or something? Hmm. Okay, there's no voicing, so I guess I should probably voice up myself. Welcome to the wonderful world of Pokémon! Our beloved Galar region is a wonderful place with thriving nature. Beautiful cities and many Pokémon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. Thanks to help from those mysterious creatures that we call Pokémon. Yes, Pokémon are all around us, in the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our towns. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokémon to do battle and compete, we call Pokémon Trainers! Did you know that already? I bet you did. <laughs> Yay! Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it is a pleasure to be here. Rose like the tree? Like, like, is that the idea? Because all the professors are named after plants? Now turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokémon trainer, your undefeated champion. It is time for Champion Leon's exhibition match. Oh, very cool. Purple hair. And the Charizard, apparently. That's the only Pokemon that exists, right? <laughs> Exhibition or not, Leon, your pristine record is about to end. When I beat you here to Oh no, they're talking too fast. That was Rayhan. Charizard, Dynamax! I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. Dynamax equals big. I see. So it's the same thing as Mega Evolution, basically. Pokemon Shield! <gasps> it's a sheepy! Look, it's a Wooloo Woo! I love them. They're so precious. Okay, um, there's a house. Is that my house? Maybe? Okay, uh, we've got a Munchlax there having a snooze. That is Munchlax, right? I think so. Uh, 
Um, hello, hello. Oh, that your flash new phone, Danielle? Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know, the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. I don't know what that is. Hop, didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yes, that's exactly why I came running over to get Danielle. Never mind watching the match now. I've got it recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Okay, so Leon's your brother? Cool. Come with me, Danielle. He should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now I've got to run. See you at mine later. Gosh, I'm cute. Uh... Oh, I need to- I need to move the stick so I actually stand up. Okay, uh, I can move around... Uh, with the an with the analog stick. If I tilt the stick a little bit, I walk slowly. If I tilt it all the way, I go much faster. Um, pressing B, A... X brings up the menu. Uh, let's go to the options in here and make sure autosave is off. Because as I mentioned, it might mess things up. Okay. Bling. <laughs> okay, so there's not much in the menu just yet. Uh, a button does nothing, B button does nothing, Y button does nothing. Clicking the sticks does nothing. Oh, does something. What was that? Okay, clicking the left stick makes me whistle. I don't know what the point of that is. Uh, the shoulder buttons don't do anything. The D-pad does nothing. You can't move with the D-pad. Uh, you have to use the left analog, which is a little weird. I can press A to talk to this animal here. Hello. Cute. Do, 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 do. I can't move the camera around, which I guess makes sense, but it's a little weird. You grabbed your mum's old bag. Oh, it looks cute. I look cute wearing a bag. Look how cute I am. <laughs> Open the X menu by pressing the X button. No way. You can save your progress by selecting save from the X menu. You can also check your location and next destination by selecting the town map. And you can check this adventure guide anytime you want in the key item section of your bag. Cool. Um, now you turn on the TV. It's a brand new telly. Your mum bought it so you can use your game console. <gasps> Look, it's my game console. Oh, that's really cool. Look, it's got the same... Uh, the controller I'm holding right now has green and red. Like, if I look at the uh, controllers in here, you can see I'm using green and red. And the Switch in game also has green and red. I think that's deliberate. That's really cool. The latest video game console is sitting by the telly. I got an Eevee here, too. It's a plush of the Pokemon Eevee. It's super soft to the touch. Oh, that's cute. Can I use my bed for something? It's the bed you went to buy as a family. It's super comfy and puts you to sleep instantly. Dang, I need that in real life. That sounds really helpful. <laughs> it's a simple desk that you can keep using even when you become an adult. Neat. So, I'm not an adult yet? I guess that makes sense. Usually you're a kid in Pokemon games. Can I look at the posters? Nope. Can I look at the wardrobe? Nope. Can I look at the sign here? Nope. So, I'm excellent. You has a town map and a bag in it now. Let's have a look in this bag. I have a potion. I have three potions. Um, okay, I can scroll. I have to use left and right to scroll through here. You can't use the shoulder buttons, which I thought you might be able to. Uh, I seem to have some key items. I have the adventure guide. I also have a fishing rod already, which is interesting. In most Pokemons, you have to get the fishing rods later. Oh, don't you look a treat. I knew that bag would suit you. Now hurry along. Hop is waiting, isn't he? But remember, no going into the forest for the two of you. Alright, if you say so. Uh, I guess I'll just leave the house now. I don't want to miss anything. Uh, it's the television that mum uses to watch her comedy dramas. Alright, if you say so. There are lots of books and magazines about Pokemon neatly lined up. It does look pretty tidy. I guess I'll go outside. Oh, okay. It's like a... It uses a map like this for the loading screen? Interesting. Interesting. Gosh, look how cute I am. <laughs> There's Hop. 
ba doo doo Hello, friends. I like how you can kneel down and talk to them. It's real cute. <laughs> uh, I still can't control the camera at all. It's moving by itself. <laughs> Have a look at you, Daniel. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. I do kind of miss having voice acting, because um, Three Houses has that, and I've been playing it recently. But, yeah, I guess I get why they didn't have it in this game. A Wooloo? What's it doing there? I think they want to go through that gate. Hey, you silly Wooloo, I see what you're up to. Don't get using tackle on the fencing. Now, you listen, no going past that fence. No. Everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering wheeled. Wheeled? Is that a word? Yeah. Now that that's taken care of, how about Daniel? Let's race, but I can make it to my house first. What with you lugging around that big old bag? Can I replace it with a different bag? Like a, a less big old one? Well, I don't have a run button. Um, there might be a run button later. Can I go this way? Hey, Daniel. Hop was looking for you, you know. But no need to go to the next town to find him. He lives right next door, right? Uh, over here? Is this his house? This is really good looking. Like, the visuals are really nice. Mum, is he here? There you are at last, Hop. Oh, and you brought along Danielle. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed in the cupboard? He's still not here yet, for the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. Then that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless for directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yes, that probably is for the best. You gotta come with, Danielle. You ne still never met my big you've still never met my big bro, right? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you out on the route. Do -do -do. It's a family sized fridge that can store a lot of food. Neat. Can I go through there? Apparently not. <gasps> Did you see that? Hang on, I'll just gonna do it again. If you run in circles, you do a little spinning thing, and it's super cute. <laughs> That's adorbs. I love it. Hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. What the good kitty? Can I pat the kitty? Okay, it looks like ZR does the same thing as A. Like, it just acts as the same button. Probably to help you play the game with one hand. Although, I'm using my left hand to move the analog stick, so maybe the simple controls just use one Joy-Con or something? I don't know. Leon is so busy that he hardly comes home, but I would like to keep his room clean and tidy. Anyone here have a cool console like I do? Doesn't look like it. Oh no, there we are. There's another switch. There it is. Uh, blue and red. Those are the default colors, so that makes sense. I wonder if I switch the controls around, whether it'll change what my switch actually has in the game. I kind of want to go and see... Okay, I'm gonna go have a quick look. Just, 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 just as an experiment. I really just want to know what'll happen. <laughs> I know I'm wasting time here. I'm just, I'm just really interested. Uh, so if I just grab my other Joy-Cons here. Oh, I might need to go into the regrip control thingy or whatever. Boop. Uh, okay. I didn't know I was using local communication. Maybe it's like a, if your friends are nearby, they show up in game thing that this game has or something. There we go. Okay, so yeah, these are my other Joy-Cons. There. I put them together because Trans Pride. Uh, hell yeah. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, it didn't change, but that might be because I was already in the room. Let me just try leaving and coming back. I just really want to see what happens. I'm super curious. They did! Look! Look! They're blue and pink now! Oh my gosh! This game said trans rights. 
Oh my gosh. I mean, it only did that because I happen to have the right Joy-Cons, but it's still cool. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get on with the actual gameplay. I'm going to put these back on the Switch and just use these ones. I might need to... Oh no, it's working. Cool. Let's go! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's a really cool feature, honestly. It's like, it's probably really easy to do, and it's a really nice touch, because like a lot of people won't notice it, but I did. <laughs> Let's get a move on. I only remember, Danielle. Wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I've got my Wooloo with me, so I'll be ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Danielle, so we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. Well, can I have a Pokemon so I can be safe from battles and stuff? Route 1. Yep, it says 1 over there. Uh, so I'm guessing we can't go this way. No wandering into that tall grass for you. You've got no Pokemon of your own, mate. <laughs> yeah, okay, so Hope won't let me go into the tall grass because I haven't got a Pokemon. I assume once I get one, I can explore that, that side of the route. Can I go this way? Nope. Might turn it up a little bit. I can't quite hear the music, and it sounds like it might be good. Wedgehurst. Cute. You did the pose. Everyone's excited. <laughs> Hello, hello, Wedgehurst! Your champion, Leon, is back! I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. It's our unbeatable champion! Leon, you and Charizard are the greatest! Well, thank you for that. I hope you'll all carry on training up your Pokémon and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it! We've all been working on our battle skills just like you've taught us to, Lee! Is it Leon? That's why they say Lee? Or am I saying it wrong? Leon. It's probably Leon. Well, that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Too true that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challenges to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. <laughs> Lee! Hop! Is his name just Hop, or is that, like, just a shortened name? So, my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo! That's the sort of sharp eyes kept you undefeated so long, eh, Lee? And these bright eyes over here. I've got it! You must be Danielle, am I right? I've heard lots loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Galar region's greatest ever Pokemon champion, and a massive Charizard fan too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. I think it's Leon. Come on, Lee, and you, Danielle, bet I can beat the both of you back home. <sighs> that hop, always wanting to be the best, isn't he? The very best, like no one ever was. With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Am I his rival? Is that what's happening? Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today, but don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. Okay. Uh, looking at the sky now. <laughs> Come on, Lee, you promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Daniel and me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Take a good look, you two. The grass type Pokemon, Garuki. The fire type Pokemon, Scorbunny. And the water type Pokemon, Sobble. Is 
This is really cute. Precious baby. All right, line up everyone. Which will you choose? <gasps> Gosh, I'm cute. <laughs> okay, I was thinking Sobble and I'm still thinking Sobble. Go on, you pick first. I've already got my Wooloo after all. Look at that little friend. That's the water type, Sobble. It adapts to anything as surely as water flows. Going with the water type Pokemon, Sobble? Yes. You chose Sobble. Would you like to give Sobble a nickname? Yes. Hmm. Okay, it's showing a Mars symbol, so I assume she's a trans girl. So let's go with, uh... I'm in the mood for a Cynthia. There we go. Cynthia has been added to your party. Love her so much, little baby. Little baby! So it'll be Sobble for you. Nice one! Then I'll go with Score Bunny. You're mine. Yeah, apparently in this game your rival picks the type that's weak against yours, which is really interesting because in most games they do pick the one that's strong. But yeah, Score Bunny is weak against Sobble. I aim to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I will be doing some serious training. Gosh, Score Bunny is cute. Sobble cute too, though. I bet you will be, Hop. That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Danielle. So the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together to try to reach me. Who, who's gonna take Grookey? And you'll come with me. Oh, well, on. Okay. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and real kind too. Little Grookey. Alright, enough of all this training nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokémon and let's all eat. Doo, 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 doo. Oh, that's cute. Oh, yum, that looks good. Yes, please. <laughs> it actually did play the noise. <laughs> I was joking about that, but it did. The next day. You spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting on alright? Understanding each other? Uh, maybe a little bit of love? Oh, this is cute. Of course I have, Lee. Daniel's made fast friends with her Sobble, too. I haven't been able to interact with my Sobble at all. It's been a cutscene. Then listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday... You might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. What are you looking her for, Lee? I'm the one who'll be coming to challenge you. I think Daniel will be able to challenge you, then I guess she's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose to her or miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. See, it, it's clearly gendering me a lot, even though I didn't select the gender. Which, so the whole, you know, pick which one you look like thing isn't really helping much in that, in that department. It's correct in this case, that is that is the correct set of pronouns to use, but uh, it, it really should have a separate selector that isn't part of what you look like. But it doesn't. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, Hop? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend, if she's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Yeah, sure. Believe in your partner Pokemon and care for them too with all your heart. Do these two things and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. Let's go! Looks like everyone's on board, Pokemon and trainers alike? Then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine left behind at home too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. You should have chosen the type that's strong against me, but you didn't. You were challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. 
Pokemon Trainer Hop sent out Wooloo. Okay, you've got two Pokemon and I've got one. This isn't fair. Go, Cynthia. A Pokemon battle it is then. I've got two partners with me. I seem to be higher level for some reason, which is helpful. Uh, I only know Pound, so Pound it is. Cynthia used Pound. The opposing Wooloo used Tackle. He used Pound again. There's not much I can do at this point. Bump. Opposing Wooloo fainted. Goodbye, Wooloo. The Pokemon gained EXP points. EXP points. <gasps> Cynthia grew to level 6. Cynthia learned Water Gun. It's not over yet. I added another trusty, trusty ally to my team. Pokemon Trainer Hop sent out Score Bunny. Well then. Good luck with that. <laughs> Cynthia used Water Gun. It's super effective. Did you already know about type advantages? I did. Opposing Score Bunny used Tackle. Okay, that was a cute animation. Cynthia used Water Gun. And I win. <laughs> it's super effective. The opposing Score Bunny fainted. The Pokemon gained the XP points. I will level up again. Cynthia grew to level 7. You defeated Pokemon Trainer Hop. You beat my two Pokemon with your one? You and that Sobble are too much. That's too much, man. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know now why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your po Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in on all the fun. Good effort out there, Sobble. Why don't I get you all sorted? Oh, he healed us up. Cool. And Danielle, you've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make the both of you stronger. Okay. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Lee, so come on, you gotta let me take on the Pokemon Gyms. You? Join the Gym Challenge? You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Galar region? Not putting the cup before the Rapidash there, little bro. <laughs> the cup before the Rapidash! <laughs> Before the rapid <laughs> If that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Danielle, before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots and lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know, it's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it. Pokedexes then. P -p -p Pokedices? Pokedices? Then, we're on it! Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Danielle. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs, or the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You better go tell your mum that we're heading out, though. I'm going to save, because auto-saving is off, so I need to do it manually sometimes. There we go. Oh, it doesn't take long. Cool. I thought it would take a bit longer. Okay, I've got Pokemon now. Let's have a look. It's Cynthia. Hey, babe, it's okay. You can smile. And uh, potions. She's so sad. She's so sad. Um... Precious baby. Okay, I better tell my mom. Or mum, I suppose, because it is British. Danielle, did you hear that just now? What was it? The gate's open and the wheeler that was there. Oh yeah, the gate. They, they kept tackling it. It was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there, do you? But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once. She came back in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterward. Danielle, what do you say? 
Right? If you're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything, because we're going in, Danielle. Okay, let's go. Slumbering wield. I don't know what a wield is. I guess a kind of forest? That Wulu, where do you think it got off to? The fog is really coming on thick now. If we don't find that Pokémon soon, this might be trouble. Let's go! Oh! Found something. <gasps> a wild Squavit! It's cute! <laughs> Uh, 40, 40, that's the same. I'll just pound. Cynthia used pound. Clunk. The wild squavit used tackle. It's a squirrel Pokemon. I love them. Let's cross, let's go. I don't have any Pokeballs yet, so I can't catch it. Otherwise, I would. Tail Whip. Cynthia's defense fall fell. My goodness. The wild Squavit fainted. Your Pokémon gained experience points. It's not very many. That's okay, though. Uh, there's not a whole lot of options about where to go at this point. Oop. Oh, it's a birdie thing. A wild rookie dee. Might be flying type? I don't know. Let's try water gun and see if it does any more damage. I can't remember the types. I can remember some of the basics. The wild rook rookie dee used peck. Okay, um, well it did do damage, but I don't think I need to use it. I think using pound is probably fine. Yep, there we go. A critical hit! The wild rookie dee fainted. Experience points for Pokemon, 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 experience points for me. Uh, did you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, you think? I thought the random encounters in this game were like visible before they attacked you, like in Let's Go, but apparently not, which is kind of weird. Another score of it. Hey cool, it does the same thing that um, Sun and Moon does, where it tells you which moves are effective. It would show like super effective or very effective for stuff that actually has a type advantage. Not that any of these moves do, but yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a cool feature. I believe the way it works is if you've already seen the Pokemon in battle and you see that information, but the first time you don't. Yeah, my defense fell quite a bit, so that would do a decent amount of damage. Wild squad that fainted. Experience points for Cynthia. Da, 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 <laughs> okay, um. Come on, Daniel, that Wooloo might be in real trouble. Um. Okay, it's kind of dangerous. This is very thick fog. Can't really see anything. This is mad, I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I get now why this place is off limits. Oh, hello. What in the... Grilled. Oh, we got a fight? Question marks appeared. Go, Cynthia! Um... 
I guess I'll try water gun. Like, it looks like they, they might be, like, fire typey, but I can't really tell. The move has no effect? The mysterious Pokemon's gaze is fixed on you. What? The move had no effect on it? I guess I'll try Pound. I'm guessing it won't have any effect either. Cynthia, you just Pound. The move has no effect? Danielle, I can't see anything. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm, you know, just a weird battle. Growl? Cynthia, you just growl. The move had no effect? Well, that was weird. Can't see anything. Wah! It's a strange way to start the game. Did that dog just like knock me out or what? <laughs> Hop, Danielle. Hey, Leon. What? Lee, how'd you manage to find your way here? Your pants with directions. <laughs> pants. Pants. <laughs> you always get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from the little brother who had me worried sick. I've been waiting ages for you two and you never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the Wooloo? We were trying to rescue that Wooloo. Oh, Meh. Little chap's just fine. Though all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know, this place is out of bounds? But it took courage to come in here all the same. I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. At least that Willy's alright. Yeah, Daniel? I thought we'd had it when that weird fog started rolling in that mad Pokemon attacked. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? It seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. It just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really, they seem to pass right through it. Moves passed right through it? So the fearsome Pokemon, they say they live, they say live in the slumbering world. Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough, maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be alright now that I'm here with you. Even if we did get an earful from Lee, what an experience. This'll make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Don't forget to tell your mum we're off to Wedgehurst now. She'll go spare if you leave without a word. Even worse than Lee just did. She'll go spare. British slang. <laughs> Postwick. Let's tell my mum that I'm leaving. She's in here. There we go. Huh? Well, now isn't Sovel just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? Here we are, a bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. Remember that Sobble will battle to the very end for you. So don't you go pushing the poor dear too hard. Wah? And you, Sobble, look after my little Danielle. Come home to rest any time that you need. After all, east or west, home is best. That rhymed. I saved my progress. Looks like I can do mystery gift now. It's showing up in the menu. Get a mystery gift, get the wild area and you just take a stroll with Pokeball Plus. Hmm. I don't have a Pokeball Plus, so I can't do that last one, but I guess I can do the other ones. Time to get my Pokeball. Not my Pokeball, not a thing. Pokedex. Here we go. This is quite the big step, you know. My first step towards becoming the next champion. Yes, I'll be training up Score Bunny a bit by having it battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building with the purple roof and the great red and white ball mark out on front. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. 
Yeah, I should train up my Pokemon as well. So I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I actually need to go this way. The Wulu are blocking the other path. Muzz, muzz. You wouldn't want to wake up the sweet sleeping Wulu, right? Better to take the long way around. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> oh, look, you can see the Pokemon. Maybe it just doesn't work because of the fog in that previous area? I don't know. Yeah, I can see exactly where they are. You found a potion! I should fight a bit so I can level up. You can carry a wild squivet! It's a squirrel! Squirrel! Very cute. It's a bit higher level than the previous ones. Cynthia used Pound. The wild squabbit used Tail Whip. Cynthia's defense fell. Cynthia used Pound. Whoa, what was that? Oh, did it have a held item? The wild squabbit restored itself. That was an ore in Berry? It looked like a berry, it looked like an acorn or something. Cynthia used Pound. Oh my god, I think it's gonna defeat me. I feel like I could use that potion, but... We'll see how we go. I think I'm strong enough to beat it. Hmm. Ooh, nope. Ugh. That's not good. You have no more Pokemon that can fight. You panicked and dropped fifty-six dollars. You wait, really? You, you lose money in 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 wild trainer battles on this wild Pokemon battles in this game, not just trainer battles. Weird. You just, just drop money. That's. I I think that's new. I don't think that happened in previous games. Oh, you're back, Danielle. Looks like you and your team are tuckered out. You should have a nice rest while you're home. Now that's more like it. You and your Pokemon should be all rested and ready for anything. Be sure to take care of your Pokemon when their HP gets slow and they're too tired to battle. Okay. Um, I assume I'm full, fully healed again. Yeah. I suppose I should just try to get to the lab and get a Pokedex so I can start catching some more Pokemons. Okay. Kind of weird that there's no run button, but maybe you have to get the running shoes or something, like in previous games. Okay, let's try this again. Don't want to wake the sleeping Wulu, so we'll go this way. Hello, bub. A wild rookity. Go, Cynthia. Level three. Uh, pound is effective? Cool. Cynthia, use pound. Rookadee use Leer. I think that draws my attack? No defense. Okay, it's the same as Tail Whip. Used Peck. Okay. <laughs> they use Pound. Yay! That's more like it. Goodbye, Rookadee. Experience, points for me, points for me, points for me, experience to level up and get better at stuff. Okay, so there are some invisible Pokemon, but there's also ones you can actually see. Interesting. Interesting. Level 2, huh? Cynthia used Pound. Squavit took some damage. Used Squavit, used a tail whip. Pretty cute, my defense will fall. That's the way it goes. <laughs> tackle! I mean pound, not tackle. I don't have tackle. Pound is more or less the same move as tackle with a different name, so... I think they're the same, like, exactly in terms of stats. Goodbye, Squabbit. Experience points for me. I am nearly level eight, but not quite just yet. I need to fight a little bit more. Uh, oh, there's something different there. <gasps> Nick it. Oh, look at that cutie. Oh, cute. I don't know if they're weak to water. They might be fire type, like a Vulpix. Let's find out. Since they used water gun. It's not super effective, but it did a good job anyway. 
defense spell. They're probably normal type. A lot of the early Pokemon are normal type in most games. Should have used another water gun. Water gun and pound have the same amount of power, but it looks like water gun still does more damage. <gasps> oh, right. Same type attack bonus. I forgot about that. Um, same type attack bonus is a thing in Pokemon games where if you're, you're water type, you use a water type move, it does double damage. So it's a good idea to use your water type move, even if there isn't a type advantage. Because it will do more damage. There I could have used a pound, but whatever. That should level me up to level 8. There we go. I got some extra stats and I learned bind. I can do bind now as well as the stuff I could do before I got bind. <laughs> Paralyze heals? Neat. Okay, I'm past the Woolies now. Let's go to town. Wedgehurst. Let's visit the Pokemon Center, which is up here. Oh, hang on. There's someone blocking the way to the Pokemon Center. My Wulu simply loves the Pokemon Center. Come along, Wulu. You're perfectly healed. Time we go back home. Meh. I like how they've just blocked paths they don't want you going down early in the game using Wulus every time. It's like, yes, that's that's exactly what blocks every path in the game. Sheeps. <laughs> Well done, you reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did a far sight better than I did my first time, I'm hopeless with directions. See how your world's already grown, all things having Pokemon with you? Not really. I could already get here, it was pretty easy to get here before, when the Wooloos weren't sleeping across the road. No, I'm sure glad I've got Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now, in we go. Rawr. I've got to give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. Ow, whack. Oh, look, it's a little puppy. No puppy. No puppy. No puppy. No puppy. <laughs> what is it today, Leon? Looking for info on another never before seen super strong Pokemon? I wish you'd stop with his outlandish requests. Oh, wow. She's gorgeous. <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> Good to see you too, Yampa. Yampa here is a real champ. More like Champa. When it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and that's his trainer, Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. Tss, what kind of introduction is that? Oh, you're not Professor Magnolia, you're Sonia. Okay, well, I like you, Sonia. You're really cute. Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yamba helping you out, I did too. God, she's cute. Look at that cutie. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. Mrs. Danielle. She's a new Pokemon trainer. Set her on the right path, would you? Yamba, 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 Yamba. <laughs> What does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you've got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. Rrrp. <laughs> Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They've got a map and a navigation tool. That said, Leon still gets lost, so... Oh, sorry, so tell me, do you know a lot about Pokémon? Sure. Well said. In that case, I'll make it so you can use the Pokédex on your Rotom phone. You obtained the Pokédex! Just so you know, that Pokédex is a gift from my Gran. Could you let Gran know that you received the Pokédex? She lives in the house down along Route, route 2. Okay. So where's, um... Where's the actual Professor, if you're, if you're Sonia? Where is Professor Magnolia? Up here, maybe? Or just not here right now? Where's your Gran, Professor Magnolia? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, Sonia, you're cute. Leon's a right amazing champion. I'm basically just an assistant. I'm not even Grand's official assistant either. I've just been calling myself one. Somehow it makes me feel a little restless. Cute. You're cute. God, she's cute. <laughs> okay, so I have a Pokédex now. 
Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. You just left the Pokemon lab, right? So that means you've got a Pokedex, yeah? I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. You obtained a potion. Put the potion in your bag's medicine pocket. It's a potion. Use it when your Pokemon's HP, the hit points, gets low. HP is like a Pokemon's stamina. You can even use potions during battle. Knowledge is power. It's a way to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. Okay, thank you. Uh, can I go through there? Like, there's not actually a fence there. It's just like these little pegs on the ground. If you ever get lost during your travels, don't forget your trusty town map. Are you talking to this guy instead of me, or...? All around here is just quiet countryside, but wait till you see a big city. It'll take your breath away. I just remember what the sign here used to say. To the right is the Pokemon lab, and the opposite side is the station. Uh, thank you. For remembering that and telling me what the sign says, or said. Can I go in here? I can go in the station. What can I do here? Can I actually get on the train? Oh look, it's a train thing. The train has been delayed due to a rail car inspection. It's got the little, like, scanners you can use if you have a ticket. You can sit down. Look! Look! You can sit in chairs! This is an innovation of great amazement. <laughs> can I talk to this person? The world you see out the window of a train it never stops changing. Isn't it lovely? Welcome to the Pokemart. May I help you? Oh, here's the Pokemart. Okay. So I can buy different kinds of potions. I can't buy any uh, Pokeballs yet. I must need to do something else. Okay, I would buy a train ticket with this machine if it would let me, but the train's been delayed. Presumably until I've done something else in the quest. I saw Leon at the station. He had such a powerful presence, I recognized him before he even got close. The Charizard pose. Just doing the pose along with Leon makes me feel like I've gotten stronger. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Hello. Leon's just amazing. He's a superstar to everyone. I used to want to be a professional Pokemon trainer when I grew up, but I can't think about Pokemon day in and day out the way Leon does. Sure you can. I'm gonna break into this person's house. Let's break into this person's house. That rather grand building beside us is the Pokemon Research Lab, but if it's Professor Magnolia seeking, you find her at home down the far end of Route 2. Chit chitter. This is a smart fridge, it's got like a screen on it. <laughs> Bada -bo -da -bo -da -bo. Got your Pokedex from Sonya? And it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. But battling strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way. Not to mention what battling another trainer can do. Luckily, we've got Pokemon centers. Luckier yet, the days eat a spot, they look the same wherever you go. Come on, Danny, I bet you've never been inside one. Well, yeah, I haven't because there was a Wooloo standing in the doorway. Now I've been inside one, there we go. Level with me, Danielle. Is this your first time in a Pokemon Center? I mean, technically no, because I've played other Pokemon games. I don't think you need to tell me what you already know. If you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers! I'm already good, though. I'm heading to Route 2, Danielle. Come find me, maybe, when you're done here. Okay, so I can see you can heal in the middle here with the nurse. Uh, then we've got another Mart over here. I'm so thankful for Pokemon Centers. They'll fully, fully heal your Pokemon as many times as you need, and for free! Yep, they're pretty cool. Hello. It's true that wild Pokemon can be scary, but once they're becoming your allies, there's nothing more reliable. What's this? Greetings, trainer. What can I help you with? Oh, okay, that's how I access the boxes. Cool. Uh, hello. Got some Pokemon questions? Feel free to ask away. Okay, so you're the name raider and, um, move deleter. And move rememberer. Just that one person there. Neat. Uh, hello, welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes. I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds then. Thanks for waiting. Your sobble should be all better now. We hope to see you again. Uh, and you're the Mart, so I can buy potions and stuff, but no balls yet. So I can't catch anything. <laughs> this month's birthday horoscope is spot on. Hmm? Do you want me to tell you your fortune too? Yes. 
Okay, in that case, can you tell me the month you were born? Uh, five, right? What day you were born? Uh, 21? I got it! So your birthday is 521? Yes. I mean, I'll put it the other way around. We, we, we use day, month, year in Australia, but whatever. Born on 521, your fortune is... Let's see here. Hmm? What's this stain here? Oh, this must be from my snack. The page is smudged and I can't really read it. Ahem! People with your birthday are going to be super duper lucky. You might even run into a legendary Pokemon. Or maybe not. So anyway, see you later. Okay. <laughs> that was a thing. Um, in the morning, my Pokemon wakes me up, and in the evening, I put my Pokemon to bed. I can't imagine a life without Pokemon. You're looking for the Pokemon Professor, you can usually find her at a lovely home by the lake, enjoying the slow life. Sounds good. I heard that Le Leon has a younger brother. I bet he's an amazing trainer, just like Leon. Berries! I've got your fresh picked berries! What do you say? You interested in something? I guess I can buy berries from you. Orange, cherry, and pitcher. Thanks for stopping by. Come again. Uh, having a meal with your Pokemon makes the food taste extra good. Cute. Uh, something hidden over here. A Poke doll. Neat. Uh, hello. It's fun to do some shopping in a boutique. Even just getting a new hat can change your whole look. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's get some new clothes. Hello. Did you know that each shop offers a different lineup of apparel brands? I think the brands they carry here might be a bit too young looking for me. If you want to put on something you've bought, go ahead and use the fitting room. Okay. Hang on, are you identical? Yeah, there's you you two are twins, right? Welcome to our boutique. Anything I can help you find? Okay, let's see what we've got here. Um Okay. What am I currently wearing? Right. Different hoodies, trousers. I like the skirt I'm wearing, it's cute. Uh, do you have. Uh, you got leggings? Hmm. Lots of stuff in here. Tights. <gasps> Fire eyes, yes, that's perfect. Um, let me see, let me see. Let's go, yeah. Shoes, uh, let me see. That's all you've got, loafers. They're better than what I'm wearing right now. Very expensive, though. Different backpacks. What I'm currently got is that. Uh, I like the one I've got. Got hats. I'm currently wearing a beret. Oh, glasses. I need those. I need glasses. Uh, let me see. There we go. That looks good. Are these all square? Yeah. Uh, now I can see! <laughs> uh, I don't need gloves. That should be fine. Hmm. Oh, cool, you can get different designs. I like that. Um, do you have, like, cyan? Doesn't look like it. The blue is quite dark. Yep, for now I'm done. That'll do for the moment. Thank you for coming by, and do feel free to use our changing room whenever you'd like to. Heck yeah! Got my glasses, now I can see. <laughs> um, I have a quick look again. Let's see. Uh, dresses? No dresses. Uh, you got a bunch of trousers, and you got some mini skirts. More trousers.
Let me see, let me see. I like that look. I like that. There we go. Okay, um... Maybe I'll get a different bag, I don't know. Let's have a quick look. I like that one. Okay, let's go! <laughs> Have I spoken to everyone yet? I don't want to miss anyone. Listen, Danielle, I've been thinking. If you're a Pokémon trainer now, you must want to try your hand at the Gym Challenge, right? The Gym Challenge, mate! The annual competition where trainers can battle it out for the right to challenge the champion. The trick is you've got to be endorsed if you want to take part. And Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up to snuff, so I'm thinking I ought to talk to Professor and see if she could help. You gotta take part too. A proper rival is just a thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger, after all. Keep you mo keeps you motivated, right? Professor's house is way down at the end of Route 2, so let's head there and give our teams the chance to train up a bit along the way. Uh... Hello. Basics for Pokemon trainers, lesson one. The Pokemon at the top of your team will be the first one to enter battle. Basics for Pokemon Trainers, Lesson 2. Don't forget to record your progress often. Basics for Pokemon Trainers, Lesson 3. Pokemon uses a move that matches its type, the move's power increases. Yeah, it's the same type attack bonus I mentioned. Uh, yeah, I just read that. I was trying to talk to uh, this, this fellow over here. In order to bring out the full strength of their Pokemon, trainers must be knowledgeable. Do do do. <laughs> He lives in this house. So when you're on Leon, Leon, you just have a healthy rivalry, but... But... Leon loves Pokemon and loves Pokemon battles. I remember he'd always go all out, even on practice matches. So, are you Leon's parents? Or... I don't think so. Because he, he lives in the other house with, with um... Hop, right? Hello. You see that house in the distance with the purple roof? That's where the Pokemon Professor lives. Yep, I can see it. It's over there. Okay, I think I spoke to everyone in town, so... Route 2. Uh... Oh, I do have Pokeballs. Why couldn't I buy any? That's weird. No, yeah, well, I guess I'll start catching things. Um, I've been playing for about an hour. I'll go a little bit longer. Over here, Daniel. Hi, Hop. Alright, Daniel, let's help me fill in our teams a bit. And I'm here to teach you how. When you catch Pokemon, have you got any hope of filling in that Pokedex? Lee, where'd you come from? Every Pokemon has got a type or two, which can make it good against some opponents, but poor against others. That's the reason you want to catch different Pokemon to cover on one another's weaknesses. Now, let's all have a champion time to show you how it's done. Can I not skip the tutorial? Like, I know how to do this. <gasps> it's a Wooloo! You encountered a wild Wooloo. Out you go, Rookity. This is the way a real champion catches Pokemon. I'm not pressing any buttons. This is happening automatically. It's very slow. Um, this is not the way a real champion does it. You have to weaken them first. Leon, you're bad at this. Gotcha, Wooloo was caught. Typical Lee. I'll give you some more Pokeballs in return. I only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. Pokemon around here seem easy to catch. Almost like they itch and you join some trainer's team, wouldn't you say? You obtained 20 Pokeballs. You put the Pokeballs in your bag's Pokeballs pocket. Makes sense. Pokemon on your team will get experience points when you catch Pokemon too. Nice, that, that's like in Let's Go. And of course, they get experience points from battles to take on the other trainers you meet along the path to help your Pokémon thrive. Your team will keep on changing and growing as you get stronger together, no doubt. But even I don't know exactly how yet. Show your champion something good, alright? Okay, let's get catching. Alright, I'm gonna catch loads of Pokémon. The will be so shocked when she sees. Okay, so... I'm just gonna, gonna get catching. Let's catch something. Come here, squirrel. Oh. 
Come here, squirrel. There we go. Yeah, there we go. You encountered a wild squabbit. Go, Cynthia. What level is it? Five. I think I want to wake in a bit first, so... What is happening? I'm not pressing a direction. It's just, like, cycling through the moves anyway. That's not good. The wild squabbit was squeezed by Cynthia. The wild squabbit used bite. Wait, they know bite? That's really cool. I would have thought that would be a, a... Yeah, something weird is going on. Okay, it's working again normally. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Okay, use a water gun. Cynthia used water gun. Okay, yeah, that should be a good amount. The wild squabbit is hurt by bind. Use the pokeball. Click. It's squabbit. Your Pokemon gained experience points. Yay! Squabbit start, data will be added to the Pokedex. It eats berries non-stop, a habit that has made it more resilient than it looks. It'll show up on farm searching for yet more berries. Cute. Yes, you can have a nickname. Okay, uh, Venus symbol. Therefore, this is a trans dude. Uh, his name will be Felix. Felix the Squabbit. There we go. Catch one of these as well. A wild rookity. We should just try throwing a Pokeball and see if it works without weakening them. Again, kind of implied it might. Apparently so. Rookity was caught. Experience points for your Pokemon. Cynthia grew to level nine. <laughs> Jumping nimbly about, this small-bodied Pokemon takes advantage of even the, mo the slightest opportunity to disorient larger opponents. Yeah, you gave a nickname. Uh, okay. Uh, also. Also, Venus symbol, so Raphael, I reckon, is a good name. There we go. I like to use the same letter that the Pokemon starts with. In a lot of cases. Let's get one of these. A wild squabbit. Throw another Pokeball. I already have a squabbit, but I figured I might get another one. That gives you, it gives you experience, so I may as well click. There we go. Experience for my Pokemon. Yes, I would like to nickname. Okay, so this one's got a Mars symbol, so she's a trans girl, so her name will be Natalie. Natalie the cute squirrel girl. There we go. Okay. <laughs> um, let's just keep going for the moment, I suppose. Oh, that's something I haven't got yet. What is it? Let's have a look. A wild tootle. It's a, it's a, it's a little tortoise with a big old head. Yeah, these are really, really easy to catch. Like, way too easy, honestly. <laughs> Felix, go to level 6. Rotom Dex, Rotom Dex, Trudel's data will be added to the Pokédex. It starts off battles by attacking with its rock hard form, but as soon as the opponent flinches, this Pokémon bites down and never lets go. Let's give it a nickname. Uh, let's say this one is a Venus symbol, so he is a dude, and I will call him uh, Copernicus. If that fits. 
think it fits. Copernicus, there we go. Da -da 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 -da. Something else that I don't have. <gasps> it's Yampa! Look at that little puppy! <laughs> puppy, puppy, puppy. I will catch a puppy now. Give me a puppy in my party. Yampa was caught. <laughs> Experience from my Pokemon. They will maybe level up, but not just yet. <laughs> Yampa's data will be added to the Pokedex. This gluttonous Pokemon only sets people with its work because it wants treats. As it runs, it crackles with electricity. <laughs> yes, I'll give you a name. Okay, Venus. So, that's a dude. Um... Hmm. Hmm. I think Charles is a good name. There we go. Okay, that's a trainer. Are you ready to battle a trainer? Yes, I am. Oh cool, it's doing this thing. Uh, it's not a moon to this too, where as you get close to another trainer, it gives you this indication so you can tell that you're approaching them. Which is kind of necessary with these 3D graphics instead of just having sprites where it's obvious what their line of sight is. It's common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. You are challenged by Youngster Jake. Hi Jake! Youngster Jake's sent out Squabbit. Is that the only Pokemon you have? You're gonna have some trouble. I have a full party. And I'm higher level than you. I should use Water Gun. Why am I not using Water Gun? I am a silly. Use Tackle. I think I think because it's normal type, it's actually getting a same type attack bonus from using Tackle. So I'm not I'm not fighting very well at all. <laughs> That's more like it. Water gun. Frozen Squabbit fainted. Experience points. Level 10. Level 8. Raphael learned Home Claws. Now they go to level 6. You've headed youngster Jake. Whenever there's a strong trainer, I always look right at them. Oh no. You got $360 for winning. Poke dollars. Okay, Yens. Really, they they, they Yen. Uh, what's this sign say? Trainer tips. Pokemon can gain experience points by battling other Pokemon. Experience points let them grow stronger. And if your Pokemon will still get experience points even if you get from your battle against. You found two potions. Nice. Boom. Hi, Yampa. Little puppy. Little puppy. No puppy. Okay, I know your type now, it's electric, so I believe I'm not effective against that, right? No, I am effective, okay. Yeah, that's right, electric is strong against water, but water is not strong against electric, it's, it's weird. Also, tackle is normal type anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Use water gun. Wild Yampa fainted. Bye bye, Yampa. Give me experience points now. Charles grew to level 6. <laughs> yeah, in this game, you have an experience share all the time. I don't think you can turn it off. Um, I think they suggested that you could, but it's not actually an option. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. You know what the casual controls are? I want to switch them on and see what they do. Okay, I can move with the right stick now, which previously was doing nothing. So yeah, I could just hold my hold the control with one hand like this and press ZR to pick stuff up. I'm not quite sure why it doesn't just do this out of the box, because the right stick wasn't doing anything before I turned that switch on. But yeah, with this you can just use your right hand and just play the whole game like this. So that's cool. Um 
I might just give myself a potion. I don't want to go all the way back because that'd be annoying. There we go. Cute and strong, together in combination. I do like cute. I'm a fan of that. You're challenged by Lass Lauren. Look how happy she is. Look at that big smile. I thought Rims are not Choodle. Go, Cynthia. I've already thwarted Choodle, so I know what's strong. Uh, Water Gun is not very effective. Use Pound. Chill, use Tackle. Bonk. Cynthia, use Pound. Bonk. Should have used tackle. Very creative. A critical hit. Okay. I do like the little animation that she does in the background when she's telling it to attack. It's very cute. Bye bye, Trudel. Felix Crew to level 7. Are we cute and nothing more? Looks like our strength still has a ways to go. I'm so sorry, Les Lauren. I feel real bad. Sorry, babe. I believe in you. You wanna fight, right? Yes. I couldn't beat Hop, but I'm gonna beat you! Uh, you might want to heal your Pokemon before you fight someone else. You were challenged by Youngster Benjamin. You appear to have the same graphic as that other youngster, which is interesting. Okay, um, I don't know what type that is, but I guess I can attack it and see what happens. Uh, Struggle Bug? I assume it's like Bug type, but maybe also Electric? Special Attack fell. Okay. Cynthia used Water Gun. A critical hit. Good fire blip bug. Experience points. Copernicus screwed to level 7. Copernicus learned fight. Youngster Benjamin might send out a Nicket. Will you switch your Pokemon? Nah. Gosh, they're cute. Uh, yeah, use Water Gun again. I think Nick is probably just normal type. Quick attack! Quick attack again! Yeah, it should be fine. Yay, I win! Experience points. Cynthia grew to level 11. Rafael grew to level 9. Now they grew to level 7. You defeat Youngster Benjamin. Lose to wild Pokemon, lose to many trainers. You got 420 Blazer for winning. Uh, there's a Yampa. <gasps> I want a fox. I want a fox. Look at that fox. A wild Nicket. Look at that cute fox. You will be mine. You will be my fox and I will call you fox. Actually, I'll give you a real name. Okay, I don't know what name though, because I already used Natalie. Um... Veronica? You're Veronica, I think. You look like a Veronica. Cunning and cautious, this Pokemon survives by stealing food from others. It erases its tracks with swipes of its tails and makes off with its plunder. Oh, that's cute. Veronica's a good name. There we go. Uh, oops. Alright, I was trying to 
pick, go through the options, but I have casual on, and that makes the controls kind of weird. I might switch casual back off because it's confusing me. It makes the right and left arrows do things that you wouldn't expect. It seems to. There we go. You found a repel. And I haven't prevents any low level wild Pokemon from jumping out at you for a while. I assume it means the D pad works the same way as ABXY or something like that. Yampa! I do need to heal up. I've taken the, quite a few hits here. Maybe I'll be okay though. I'm like twice your level, so. Yeah, I should be alright. Especially if you do a tail whip, which you did. So. All good. Cynthia used a water gun and Yampa fainted. And we got experience to the party. There we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Over here there is a little spot for doing battles if you want. Also, you can probably sit over here, right? Yes! Oh, that's beautiful. If you see shadows in the wall, you're likely to find Pokemon lurking beneath them. Face that show and press the A button to cast your line and try to fish up a catch. If your fishing rod shakes, press the A button once more to reel in a Pokemon. Try fishing wherever you spot these shadows. Yeah, alright. Oh, hey, it's Magikarp. That makes sense, I suppose. Go, Cynthia. Can I just throw a ball at it or need something special? Click. That was easy. Pokemon gained experience points for catching that Magikarp in a Pokeball. Even though they did nothing, I did all the work by throwing the ball. This weak, empathetic Pokemon gets easily pushed along rivers when there are strong currents. Yes, I'll give a nickname. I'm doing this based on the idea that you will evolve into Gyarados. So I'm gonna call you Marissa B, because Marissa from Toho Strong. <laughs> uh, at my party, uh, I will swap you with... Hmm... No, I'll keep my party as is for now. No, wait. Dang it. Go back. Send to a box. So it has been sent to a box. Okay. I can see a normal fish over there, which is kind of weird. I assume it's actually a Pokemon, but it looks like a normal fish. <laughs> Look, there's the professor. So have you unraveled all the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon yet? Oh goodness no, the whole thing is still full of questions. I hoped that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Okay, so that's that's Professor Magnolia. Nice. Dear me, I'm sorry, I didn't even notice my guests. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. Where are you going, Professor Magnolia? Indoors, I guess. Hi, Hop dear. I see Wulu has made some new friends. And you must be Danielle. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonya. I'm sure we'll have it complete in no time. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Danielle? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years, and it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go again, Leon. Always talking about Pokémon. There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know? Like how many different types of tea there are. Hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee you should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Hop and Danny only decided out as Pokémon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet. Dearie, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the Galar region become strong trainers, isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. That goal is precisely the reason I gave them both Pokémon, in fact. Right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. 
And don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Right, we're waiting outside, Danielle. Okay, so yeah, I have to fight with Hop and then that'll, that'll, I'll get endorsed, I assume. Hurry it up, Danielle. You gotta battle me so I'll get myself that endorsement. I'm gonna become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is and do that with that endorsement and take part in the gym challenge. Come with everything you have so we can prove to Lee that we've got what it takes. Of course. Let's go. I'm rather interested in seeing how you two young trainers battle too. Listen you two, the reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten to where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. You will challenge your Pokemon Trainer Hop. Hop. Pokemon Trainer Hop sent out Wooloo. Okay, you have one more Pokemon now. I guess that's better. But I have a full party and they're all probably decent levels. Have you gotten a bit stronger? Me and my team will put you to the test and see. Uh, Water Gun. Raising Wooloo used Tackle. Sure did. Very impressive. Cynthia used Water Gun. Raising Wooloo fainted. Felix grew to level 8. Copernicus grew to level 8. Pokemon Trainer Hopper's about to send out Score Bunny. You switch your Pokemon? No. I will use Water Gun on Score Bunny. Simply used Water Gun on Score Bunny. As promised. It's super effective. Well, look at you. Seems you've really learned your type matchups. I did this the last time we fought. Like, this isn't new. I haven't learned anything different. Oops. Oops. Cynthia used Water Gun. Again. Goodbye, Score Bunny. Super effective. Frozen Score Bunny fainted. I wonder what the third Pokemon will be. Experience points. Cynthia grew to level 12. What's the new Water Pulse? Should not be forgotten in place? Yes. Uh, let's ditch Growl. There we go. One, two, and... Ta-da! Cynthia forgot Growl, and it learned Water Pulse, Water Pulse instead. Raphael grew to level 10. Natalie grew to level 8. Charles grew to level 8. Rookity. No, I can keep fighting. It'll be a close one. That's exactly my sort of match. It, it won't be a close one. I have six Pokemon, and you've barely made a dent in the first one. This is not a close match at all. Your team is too nervous to eat berries. If I had any berries, I'd probably care about that. What does Water Pulse do? Okay, it's, it does more damage. Yeah, I'll use Water Pulse. Cool. Nice. <laughs> you defeated Pokemon Trainer Hop. Ugh, gutted that I lost, but I expect nothing less from my rival. You got 640 pound poke yens for winning. Poke yen. Pien. <laughs> I even got my pokeball throw perfect too. The sting of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? <sighs> Danielle, hop. Well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I have little choice but to give you both an endorsement as champion. You obtained a letter of endorsement. You put the letter of endorsement in your bag's key items pocket. Cool. Yes, thanks, Lee. I swear I'm gonna win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You may both be young still and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell of our bodies. Hop, you always tend to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball out. Things that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I've been worried about you since I'm still obsessing over that sort of nonsense, but it seems you really have grown a bit, little brother. I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Danielle. 
Alright, Danielle. You and me are gonna train up against one another to aim for that champion's title. The more we keep battling against one another, the more our Pokemon will grow. Huh? What's that? Um... Danielle, would you look at this? They're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. You obtained a wishing star. What's that do? A stone found in the Galar region with a mysterious power. It said your dreams will come true if you find one. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. Oh, they're going to be massive. Yes! So we can Dynamax now. Trust you to pull something like this. They say wishing stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their heart, you know? I'll be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. There, I've said it three times, so surely my wish will come true now, right? Don't be silly, Hop. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They're one of the most precious resources we have in here in the Galar region. But they won't do a thing for you in that state. Give them to me now and I'll have you sorted. All oh, right, you've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please, give Danielle and me the power to Dynamax our Pokémon. First we've got to battle against that mad Pokémon in the slumbering wield, and now this. It really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Seems I came home right in time for all the excitement. Hey, you lot. Wanted to have some dinner. Must be hungry, right? I've been terribly obsessed with making the latest trendy curries. Sounds good. Thanks, Sonia. Okay, I've been playing for an hour and a half, so I should probably wrap up this video soon. Um, next time it lets me save, I'll probably wrap up. Uh, it's morning at last, and time for our adventure to truly start. Good morning to you, young, young challengers. Hop, is it true you really met some Pokémon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Uh, well, there was weird heavy fog, and then this even weirder Pokémon appeared. Daniel tried to fight it off, but then I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. Hmm, a right fan of information you are. Danielle, Hop, these are for you. You got a Dynamax band from Professor Magnolia and slipped it on your wrist. A wishing star has been affixed to it. Let's add a light that allows Pokemon to Dynamax when at a power spot. Those are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. Just like the one Lee has on him, too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it's not so simple as all that. There are a number of conditions you must meet if you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on that gigantic form. Now don't be afraid to go to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That will help fill out your Pokedex too. The Legend of My Reign is finally about to begin. Come on, Danielle, I'll beat you to the station. It's so competitive. Uh, okay, I'm seeing something on the side there. Um... Victory Station. Gathering data of people passed by. Okay, so... They can compete with people who've walked by near, nearby? Okay. Ycom offers many ways to connect with other players. You're welcome to swap Pokémon, take part in Pokémon battles and more. There's never a shortage of things to do. When stamps arrive in Ycom while you're out in your adventure, it means that other trainers are around looking for someone to connect with. Press the Y button to see who's around. Normally, you can use Ycom to connect with people close by. If you press the plus button and hit the internet, you're going to around the world. Get the stamps with a silhouette of a Pokémon on it, you team up with your fellow trainers to battle Pokémon. Oh, I see, okay. So I guess I can interact with other players using that? Do what plants would want instead of what you want. If you keep that in mind, plants will grow. Alright. A strange Pokémon in the slumbering wield. I don't know, I've got an uneasy feeling for some reason. Now, don't be afraid to go to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokémon. That will help fill out your Pokédex, too. Is 
Is this Sonya's room? I feel like it probably is. Got a tablet there. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this video soon. I'm just having a little bit of a look around. Looks like it's getting kind of dark. I wonder if it's like a real time thing. Because it is getting a bit late in the day over here, if you look at the indicator there. Oh, Pokeball. 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 Give me that. Found a Great Ball. Okay, it was actually not a Pokeball, it was a Great Ball. <laughs> uh, okay. What is this? TM57 Payback? Neat. Okay, so from what I've seen so far, I'm not seeing a whole lot that's unique about Swoosh. Which is why I've been playing longer to try to see more of it. To try to get an idea of what's new about it. One last thing before we race, Danielle. Say, I've got some great advice for you. You know how you sometimes see Pokemon wandering about out of the tall grass, yeah? If you move real slow like and crouch down, those Pokemon won't pay you any notice. How do I crouch down? But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, be sure to catch their attention. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. Need a fail-proof trick? Press the left stick. How do I crouch? Try it out and see if you can catch the most Pokemon, Danielle. Remember Wedgehurst Station, right? We went to pick up Lee before. That'll be the goal, so see you there! Okay, um... So how do I crouch down? They didn't tell me how to do that. Maybe if I just walk slowly? Okay, yeah, if you tilt the stick just a little bit, you start going slowly. I don't know... I feel like it should be a button, because tilting the stick a little bit is annoying. Whereas I can whistle by pressing this button. That'll get their attention. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're coming to get me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, um... I guess I'll go a little bit longer. So yeah, so far I haven't really seen what's unique about this game. Uh, the visuals are very nice. Um, and I like the menuing system. It looks good. Um... I like that you get experience for catching Pokemon. It encourages you to do that instead of fight them, which I think previous games had a bit of a problem with. Um, that's a good thing to have ported from Let's Go. Hello, what are you doing out here, Yampa? Uh, the visuals are really, really nice. I like that there's a costume, like a clothes place right at the beginning, so you can kit yourself out with glasses and everything. I hope there's a way to adjust your hairstyle as well, because it was in sumo, and it only gave you a few options for hair at the beginning. So we'll see how that goes. Wild wow, Yamper fainted. I feel like this has less of a focus on story than Swoosh did, maybe? Not Swoosh, than Sumo did. Um, but, you know, maybe that's just the impression I'm getting so far, it might... Adjust the focus as we go, I don't know. Um, did I already get this? Yeah, I did. It's too hard to backtrack. I'm glad you can see stuff on the overworld, like in Let's Go. That's a really good improvement. Every game should do that. Every, every RPG should work that way. So, yeah. Thank you for doing that, Pokemon. Back in Wedge Just. Apparently there's someone you have to talk to near the beginning of the game to unlock a certain ability. Like, to unlock like options in the menu or something. It's weird. I saw Hop sneaking off toward the station. Gah! <laughs> Come on, Danielle, you haven't beat me to the station at that pace. Well, of course I won't. I can't move because the cutscene's playing. I 
guess I'll cut off the video about here. It's been a minute 40, a minute 40, an hour 40. So yeah, that's a bit long. Uh, I think I can call that a video. So yeah, that's giving a bit of an idea of what Swoosh is like. Uh, you've got nice 3D models of all the Pokemon in decent high res and pretty and uh, you've got all sorts of options for doing things online by the looks of things. Ooh, okay. Okay, so you get to pick what you look like based on all these different picks that they give you. Interesting. Mm. There we go. Yeah, from what I've seen, it's it's not that different from other Pokemon games. Um, Let's Go was a lot more different. Like, it had some problems, but in various ways, I think it did things differently that were good. Uh, for example, it looks like you don't have the ability to swap your Pokemon around outside of the little uh, thing in the Pokemon Center. In Let's Go, you could do that wherever. You just had to, like, go to the... Um, a thing in your inventory. Yeah, you have to go to a Pokemon Center to do this, by the looks of things. Must have misunderstanding? Let's have a quick look. Yeah, you can only swap with your inventory. Okay. Yeah, so that, that's a bit different. Also, I don't think you can change clothes anywhere, which you could do in Let's Go. There are more clothing options, though, so that's better. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to play more of this, obviously, and get more in invested in how the game works and progresses, and something sparkling over there. Can I talk to that, or is that just, like, a lighting effect? Can't interact with that. Okay. Um, so yeah, it reminds me a lot of Sumo in terms of the visuals and... Like, the various options that the game gives you and that kind of thing. Um, I'm not quite sure what they've done that wasn't in Sumo, if anything. <laughs> Underwear candy! Um, but it does look a lot better than that because, you know, the Switch is a lot more powerful than the 3DS in terms of rendering. So it looks real nice and real pretty. Anyway, um, I guess that's about it for this video. I don't have too much else to say, um, but we'll be proceeding onwards later, so... Oh, I see. Oh, weather on off. Oh, okay, you can see what the weather's like in different parts of the world. That's cool. I don't remember if Sumo has weather conditions like that. Anyway, um... Yeah, I'm just going to wrap up the video now, and I might make some more. I don't know. Um, I might continue playing this game on, on camera. We'll see how we go. <laughs> but so far, I'm, I'm liking it, but I'm not overly impressed with it, I guess. Uh, I'll do that in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!